Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I'll tell you what, we're here tonight with uh, Real Sim Racing uh, Racing League tonight. This is Real Sim Racing Full Throttle Cup Series, and uh, we're uh, I think we're going to be uh, qualifying here uh, just shortly, guys. But uh, I'll tell you what, in the house with me tonight, Rick the Law Dog, Jonathan along for the ride. Michael, the Batman, Keaton, he'll be working pit road with us tonight. And, of course, uh, everybody calls him the legend here on Thursday and Sunday nights. That's James. I'll tell you what, he is absolutely the, the legend. John Wessling pushing the buttons on the cameras back here behind us. And uh, Ed Williams, Jr., uh, in-car reporter tonight for uh, Real Sum Racing League. And uh, let's go back to last week. Uh, Rick, you weren't here last week. I believe it was Tracy up here in the booth with me. Tracy uh, off on hiatus here for about a week or so. Guy Snyder uh, takes the big one home at uh, Phoenix last week. Now, uh, we came out of that. I think we had, uh, uh, I think there were five or six uh, cautions uh, or more, uh, 11 cautions, I believe, we came out of there. But Guy Snyder uh, walking away with the trophy. Uh, Tyler Price it was uh, quite the race. We've been watching Phoenix all week long here in the iRacing. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of people having problems with it, so it was really nothing unusual. But uh, Guy Snyder sitting at the top of the points this week. That's right, JD. And I tell you what, I got a chance to get up with Guy Guy Snyder, and uh, very excited about the race tonight. Uh, he, he said, "You know, I asked him how 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 was how is it going to go down tonight when the green flag drops? What do we expect to see from Guy Snyder tonight? What's he going to do when the green flag drops? You're going to run to the front? You're going to sit in the back? What are you going to do?" And uh, he said, "Man, you know, I'm so excited. I, I just want to ride tonight like I did last week." take a position when he can but he's not going to push it he's in for the long haul tonight so he wants to you know use strategy save the tires get a good start take one car at a time and i'll tell you what jd with an attitude like that this young man could end up in that number one spot again tonight yeah you bet i'll tell you what uh, guy snyder certainly one to keep an eye on here tonight at uh, las vegas las vegas speedway mile and a half tri -oval. 20 degree banking in the turns, guys. That's just 10 degrees shy of uh, the big ones, Daytona and Talladega. But uh, this is an absolutely a fast track, 200 mile an hour track going down the front stretch. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, there are some uh, there are some uh, some danger zones here at Las Vegas too. And of course, one of them is coming off of turn four. And if you miss your exit point, uh, that outside wall come off turn four, uh, Rick uh, can sure come up in a hurry. Uh, that's the key tonight, J.D. Entry and exit tonight. That you have got to be right on the money each time when you enter into those corners and coming out of those corners. Talk to several guys, and we'll get to those here in just a minute. But a, I, I, I was kind of you shocked. I, I heard a few guys talking about how uh, some of them are just going to be fighting for the front and shooting for the front very quickly in the early of the game, and they're not worried about tires. They're just worried about getting up to the front so gonna be real interesting to see how that takes place yeah you know we're talking also uh, to a couple of drivers we're hearing some scuttle but there might be some uh and might be uh probably will be watching practice here some really loose conditions on the track for the first few laps so uh we'll probably see that happening uh sometime during the first three to four laps possibly uh, five laps and uh, Michael Keaton uh, on board with us tonight, calling the action from Pitt Road. Uh, you heard anything from the uh, garage area? Well, like you said about the danger zone there, J.D., a lot of these crew chiefs telling their guys and drivers to be real patient coming off turn four, getting down into that pit, uh, pit road there, because it can be a little tricky, that track transition from... All right, then uh, I'll tell you what, uh, why don't we go ahead and take them down through the points and we'll let them know who's who and who's where here in the real sim racing full throttle cup series. Of course, I've uh, talked about him here in pre-race sitting at the top. Guy Snyder coming home with the big one uh, last week at Phoenix. He's uh, at the top of the heap, 95 points to, to uh, his uh, name. And in second place, finishing fifth last week at Phoenix, Scott Brotherton, 19 points behind the leader. That's right. In third place in the points right now, we've got Cameron Manis, and sitting in fourth is John Gregorio. 
Tyler Price, uh, he finished second last week at Phoenix. He's 26 points behind the lead in fifth place, guys. And in sixth place, John Higman Jr. with a top five finish at Phoenix. Coming here with, with uh, 27 points behind the leader. Only one point off that fifth place spot up there, Tyler Price. And I tell you what, in seventh place, J.D., we've got Chad Cole that finished third place in last week's race. So look for him to be a big contender here today and uh, try to rack up some more of those points and look for him to get up front to try to uh, get some of those bonus points. And in eighth position, we have Adam Roberts. Adam Roberts uh, finishing 15th. Probably not uh, where he wanted to finish last week, but I'll tell you what, inside the top 10 of the points, ninth is going to be Chad Tracy. 25th place uh, finish last week. Uh, you know, uh, I think it was a late caution uh, in the race that uh, kind of did him in. Chad Tracy sitting 34 points off the lead. And tied with him, uh, we'll call it a tie for ninth place, Chris Alley finishing uh, 13th, just outside the top 10 last week at Phoenix. He's also 34 points off the lead. So I'll tell you what, that's uh, your rundown here from uh, Real Sim Racing, the uh, Full Throttle uh, Cup Series here. Uh, and uh, Ricky has some more with uh, Scott Brotherton. Absolutely, and uh, I think we heard the back door open. I ran him down in the pits earlier, was looking for Scott Brotherton, and I believe he's up here in the booth with us right now. Scott, can you hear me? Yeah, I got you guys. Fantastic. Try to catch up with you a little earlier, and, uh, you know, I'm going to have to say, it looks like you, you, am I right or wrong, you run for Huffman Racing. Is that your team? Yes, sir. That's correct. Well, that's awesome, and you know, I just want to point out, I believe Rob Bowling, and let me make sure I got that name right, Rob Bowling and Chad Schilling, I asked where you were at, and they said something about you may have been eating on a popsicle. Can you tell us the story behind that? <laughs> Chad always loves to give me crap about that. I always have a popsicle right before the race starts. It's my, uh, it's just my little thing, I guess, but um, it keeps me running good, so I'm going to keep doing it before every race. Well, that sounds great. Listen, you finished fifth last week, and as of right now, you're running second in the points. Now, what can the fans expect to see uh, see from you here this evening when the green flag drops? Well, I can't really tell you. I haven't even turned a lap in practice yet, so um, the guys from the team are telling me that's a little loose off, so probably going to fill it out the first half of the race and, um, you know, just see see how the running's going. Hopefully I'll get a good spot in qualifying, but uh, just going to take it easy the first half and see what the car feels like. Well, good deal. It's Scott, we wish you the very best of luck, and we're getting ready to go racing, so I'm going to let you get on back down there and get strapped in that machine and uh, wish you the best, very best of luck. I appreciate it, guys. All right, Scott Brotherton uh, sitting second in the overall points tonight, guys. Tell you what, we need to send it on down trackside. I believe the Cactus Cuties are standing by to present our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the channel or the land of the free and the home of the brave. 
user left your channel. Hey dude, are you ready to rock and roll? If that's cool, then you need to do it over at HD Radio Network. HD Radio Network, four stations broadcasting 24-7 with everything from metal favorites to the 80s classic rock like legendary Leonard Skinner, Electric Light Orchestra, Foreigner, and Bone Rattling, Skull Crushing, Rock and Roll on Hard Driving Radio. And partnered with Nuff World Simulation Gaming, check out the HD Radio Network's Nuff Radio with Bear Factory, Stone Temple Pilots, Def Leppard, and a whole lot more. HDRadioNetwork.com. Take your pick and rock your brains out, dude. Hey, dude, are you ready to rock and roll? If that's cool, then you need to do it over at HD. All right, and we are back, and the Cactus Cutie is presenting our national anthem here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway tonight. And uh, I'll tell you what, qualifying is underway here, guys, so we do have a little bit of time. And, uh, Rick, I understand uh, you caught up with a couple of drivers down there in the garage. Uh, you find out any uh, particulars for tonight's race? Absolutely. Uh, I was able to catch up with Cameron Manis that uh, finished sixth last week, J.D., and uh, tonight, you know, he's coming in here running third in the points, and uh, I asked him how he's going to run this evening, what does he think is going to happen, how's everything going to play out. He said tonight what he's looking to do is be a little conservative on his on his tires. He's looking for a long green flag tonight, and uh, he's expecting a top ten finish this evening. And... Uh, Going to fourth place in points, John Gregorio <clears throat> said that he had a solid car, great car, and he is going to the front very quick, and he's not holding back for anything. Um, he, the quicker he can get up the front, the quicker he's going to do it. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how those two play out, one being conservative and one that's not worried about the tires at all. Watching qualifying, uh, the uh, telemetry coming back in from the uh, timing stand down here. I'll tell you what, Landon Huffman sitting on a pole right now with a 30, almost a 30 flat, 30.004. But uh, right behind him, uh, Rick, is uh, John Gregorio. Uh, so far, he's uh, placed himself in second up there on the front row with a 30.1. David Lanza coming in right behind with a 30.125. So uh, as these guys get qualifying underway, Mike, uh, you got some more information about... Uh, tires and fuel for us here at uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, tell you what, 60 laps is where you're going to be looking for these guys to come down pit road should it stay green. 60 laps uh, on a, uh, a full tank of gas, uh, but you can imagine that these guys are really going to be wanting a caution come halfway to 60 because these tires do wear here big time at Vegas. Yes, they do, and I'll tell you what, 60 laps might be pushing it on tires. I'm going to guess probably somewhere in the neighborhood about 50 to 58 uh, laps on uh, at least tires. But, uh, you know, I don't know that this will turn out to be a uh, fuel mileage race tonight. Uh, we're probably expecting, you know, probably a, a good estimate, probably about maybe four cautions here at Las Vegas tonight. Seems to be uh, what, uh, what's what been happening all week. Been camped out here at Las Vegas for a few days. But uh, 107 laps on the books here tonight for uh, Real Sim Racing. Full throttle cup racing here on ETV Live. And, of course, uh, the big news uh, going back uh, to the Daytona race, uh, Viper Technologies coming on board offering up a season championship trophy in the form of one of their Viper 600 SR gaming chairs. So uh, a lot on the line here as we work through uh, the next 30-some-odd uh, weeks of racing here with the uh, Full Throttle Cup Series with uh, Real, Sim, uh, Real Sim Racers. So I tell you what, check them out over there, realsimracing.com. Uh, pretty nice little looking website over there. And uh, I know that they have uh, a couple of different mods that they, that they race over there. So a uh, good bunch of guys. We're glad to be here with them and uh, looking for a good race here tonight in Las Vegas. But let's talk about this track here a little bit, guys, getting around this place. Uh, that bottom line 
you know, you stay hooked up on the bottom down there, uh, uh, you know, uh, you, you've got to uh, really manage your car going into the turns. But uh, that upper line, uh, we'll probably see a lot of them, uh, you know, try to use that upper line up there. You get a good run, keep your foot in the throttle uh, coming off the turns uh, pretty much, Rick, and uh, we'll just have to see how that plays out tonight. Yeah, that's right, J.D., and I tell you, for the guys that are eating up their tires, look for those guys to be up on that high line. But there's a disadvantage to that. When they're running that high line, if they hit that high line a little too high, about midways in that corner, they're going to push real hard, and they could end up in the wall. Talking about in the wall and having some bad luck, looking at the leaderboard, J.D., in first place right now, we've got London Huffman. And he was explaining last week he was running really good, and uh, he said he got dumped. Now, what he meant by that, don't know. I wasn't here last week. Uh, had the uh, trip to uh, England I had to go to and uh, back from that. But when I talked to Landon, he explained to me tonight that uh, they've got an excellent setup for tonight, even though they are a fixed setup uh, league here. But uh, he said, look for me to be up front tonight all the way, and I'm going to lead every lap, and I'm going to do what I can to win this thing. <laughs> I tell you what, you know, I was uh, collecting some information, or at least trying to collect some information over there from uh, Real Sim Racing. Was uh, in their forums over there a little bit, and a little, little bit of a uh, little bit of tussle going on over there coming out of that Phoenix race last week. Of course, uh, that bit a lot of them, but you know, I uh, camped out of Phoenix all week long. Of course, uh, you know, hanging out with Jesse and uh, AJ on uh, Thursday and uh, and Sunday nights. And of course, uh, you know, ETV Live always doing some testing, picking up on some races during the week. Phoenix was a tough track. And, uh, you know, Las Vegas, uh, what we've seen so far, uh, we've seen some pretty good events. Uh, expect some uh, action to really start heating up towards the end of the race. We get uh, about uh, maybe 30 laps to go, 20 laps to go. Uh, you're going to see it really heat up. And I expect uh, we'll probably have uh, a couple of cautions there late in the race. But as these guys get set to go here, why don't we go ahead and step away? We'll take a commercial break. When we come back, we ought to be hearing them fire them babies up down there on pit road. So I'll tell you what, you're watching live ETV live, cowboy. Don't wander off. We'll be green flag when we come back. Wow, that was quick, and we are back at the what Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And here's a little here's a little bit of trivia for you guys. Not not that we're doing any kind of trivia game tonight. Just wanted to throw it out there. But uh, I see yeah, there's a few people over there in the chat room. Patrick, KPM, Paul, John, uh, Kayla, uh, and all of the ETV Live employees. <laughs> Daniel in the house. Two crew party. But I'll tell you what, uh, you know, uh, the fastest lap was set uh, back in 1996, guys. It's been a long time ago. You know who it was? I give up. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, it was done in an Indy car, open wheel car, 226 miles an hour, dude. I'll tell you what, that is absolute hooked up and moving around Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And uh, we're not going to see those kind of speeds here tonight. But, uh, you know, keep your eye on the uh, on the speedometer here as we get some in-car shots. you probably see about some 190-plus uh, approaching to going into turn one coming off the front stretch. And I'll tell you what, uh, time has run out here, and uh, we should be uh, lining up, getting ready to grid up here uh, down on Pitt Road. Of course, Landon Huffman uh, in the pole tonight. Or on the pole tonight, John Gregorio is going to start outside him on that front row. But uh, looking down the roster here, uh, Chad Cole in the house tonight. Uh, Chad uh, having a, a pretty decent run uh, last week. Um, Finished third. 
Yeah, finished third, uh, and he's uh, seventh in the points here tonight. Uh, Chad will be starting, uh, looks like, in the second row. But as these guys uh, get gridded up down here, why don't we go ahead and take them down through the lineup. Like we said, Landon Huffman starting out on the pole here tonight, guys. John Gregorio in second in that 23 machine on the outside. And starting third this evening, driving the number 33 machine, David Lanza. And like GD said, number 17, Chad Cole starting fourth. Cameron Manis will be uh, starting in fifth position on the inside. Outside him, John Abbott in that number 10 machine. And starting seventh, 88, Adam Roberts. And eighth position, number 62, Chris Owens. Chris Westerfield will be starting in ninth position in the 31 car. On the outside in 10th, it would be uh, John Higman Jr. in the number 60. Starting in the left, number 83, Jay Horton. And in 12th, with number 41, Chalmers Parker. And Jeff Addison in 13th position on the inside in that 94 machine. Outside him in 14th in the 47 car, Eric Arnold. In 15th, number 27, Guy Snyder. And in 16th spot, we have the number 43 of Doug Roth. In the number 87, starting 17th on the inside, Chris Alley. Outside him, in the number 70 car, 18th position, Jason Elrod. And starting ninth, number 76, Keith Brooks Jr. And in 20th, number 34, Chris Beck. Reggie Jensen starting on the inside in 21st at number 2 car. In the number 3 car in 22nd position will be Scott Brotherton. 23rd position belongs to the number 46, Logan Bunning. And in 24th, number 91, Jeff Eaton. Chad Schilling starting in eight in uh, 25th position in the 18th car. In 26th on the outside, Nathan Bowers. And 27th, number 44, Rob Bowling. And 28th, number 86, Chad Tracy. Tyler Price on the inside in 29th. Outside him, Bobby Childs in 30th position. 31st, Ed Williams Jr. 32nd, Joseph Hayes. Joey Katina starting in 33rd. 34th is Greg Netherwood, James Daly, Bill Schoonover, Stephen Herring, Blake Jones, and Stacy Renfro bringing up your rear here tonight, guys, at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I'll tell you what, we are set for 107 laps here tonight. And expect uh, to see some very loose conditions right out of the gate, guys. So well, the first three, four laps are going to be critical here at Las Vegas as we get set to take the green flag. Tell you what, J.D., these guys are going to have to be patient on the start here. Give each other a little bit of room because these cars have got to settle. Air pressure's got to, uh, to, to raise in order for these tires to start sticking in the corners. So going to be interested right off the bat. You bet Pace Car will be pulling off uh, and making that sharp left-hand turn here down pit road as Landon Huffman uh, sucks those belts up one more time. James John Gregorio up on the outside as the green flag is up and running. I tell you, Landon Huffman gets a huge run over James Gregorio. The rest of the field kind of backpedaling back here a little bit. That's right. I tell you what, he said tonight he was looking to run to the front there, J.D., and uh, that young man is not wasting any time at all. You bet uh, pretty much single file all the way back. These guys uh, all the way back to uh, 11th position back here, Jay Horton in the uh, 11 or the 83 car, uh, the 60 car uh, up on the outside getting past him here. So uh, I'll tell you what. First lap in the books. We get uh, two or three more here uh, as uh, as these tires start heating up here a little bit. Grip level starts coming up. Remember, this is the, the, the critical part of the race here on these restarts. is going to be the first couple, two, three laps here. They're already breaking two by two up here in front. Tell you what, J.D., just taking a look at the field there so far, I'm very impressed. These guys were patient on the takeoff. And uh, as you can see, they're all kind of getting spread out. So no early cautions. And, uh, hey, that's good racing right there. You bet. I'll tell you what, uh, watching average speeds uh, approaching 197 miles an hour going into turn one. So I'll tell you what, it's starting to build up here. They get uh, they go to get get a good uh, 10 or 12 laps under their belt here and they get enough rubber down on this track. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, we ought to see some pretty good racing here tonight. John Abbott back here in sixth position. In that uh, white number 10 car back there looking pretty good, guys. John Abbott uh, is uh, 
looks like he's holding his own here. But uh, tell you what, keep an eye on turn four, guys. Uh, that's one of the problems. If they're going to happen, they'll be coming out of turn four uh, as uh, that wall comes up really quick. But so far, so good, guys. Uh, pretty good start to uh, the race here tonight. Absolutely, uh, J.D. I tell you, just looking at some of the names here, being familiar with that race and got a lot of talent here in the room tonight. And uh, tell you what, uh, the names speak for themselves here, especially watching the race here. No early cautions as the, uh, it looked like the uh, number 62 car went below the line there. Done some passing. Not sure if they got any rules in place for that or anything. But uh, let's talk about pit stops. Uh, Michael, you say you got a prediction about how long is it going to? Looks like we've got a wreck, folks. Oh, oh yeah, stretch. hang on. 62 car, guys. No uh, no caution coming out yet, but uh, 62 car, Chris Owens uh, tangling with, uh, I believe that was the uh, 88 machine up here, guys, uh, and uh, knocked him down. This is happening, uh, looks like it's coming right off of turn two, right on the back stretch, gets sideways, straightens it back out, keeps it rolling, pointed forward. And uh, it's going to make that transition back up onto the track, going into turn three, and just barely misses getting slammed, guys. But oh, no caution. Oh, accident. accident right out there in tur uh, turn two. All right, first caution of the night coming coming out anyway. All right, I'm hearing it's that guy Snyder in the number 27 car. Is uh, we roll it back here a little bit and uh, see what happened to him. He looked yeah. like he had some help uh, here, guys. It looks like the, uh, all right, let's see what John's got. Let's see if we can bring this guy. Let's see if we can bring this back. I right, see what happened here. He looked like he's going to get a little help from the outside here, guys. Most definitely got helped around by that 47 uh, the Navy machine. Just kind of gave him a little love tap there in the corner, and around he went. You bet, and uh, watching it, uh, watching it one more time up here. I tell you what, uh, the 43 car back here, Doug Roth, he just narrowly escapes that one as well. As uh, all that's happening uh, right up in front on his bumper up here, coming into the turn here. Uh, but uh, tough night for uh, a couple of these guys here already, Mike. Yeah, Eric Arnold, I believe, just pulled his car behind the wall uh, as he uh, collected some damage in that in, under, in that caution there. Uh, you'll see some guys come down here and pit uh, to get some fresh tires, but the majority of the leaders are going to stay out here to keep that track position. It's a little too early to pit for uh, for for tires for these uh, leaders, but on back, halfway through the field, they'll come in and get those fresh tires to make up some ground. So, good action so far, guys. Hey, Mike, uh, I know you've been running up and down pit road all day today, getting some information from some of the teams and so forth and how things are going out there. Well, about how many laps are we looking at before these guys are pretty much going to have to take a pit to uh, get fresh tires? Probably going to be around lap uh, about 55 to 60 laps. Uh, you're going to see some guys start to come down. And if we stay green, a lot of these crew chiefs have been telling their drivers to really keep it easy on that transition from out of four down pit road because the level of the track versus the pit road entry is kind of steep. And if you're not on your um, P's and Q's, if you will, uh, you can spin her out uh, easily going into the pit. So watch for that close uh, uh, green, green flag pitting there uh, as we get deeper into this race. Fantastic. Thanks, Mike. All right, I'll tell you what, first caution coming out here on lap seven, guys. Uh, why don't we go ahead and step away? We'll take a commercial break right here, right now. Hey, Cowboy, you're watching it live, ETV Live, so don't wander off. We'll be right back.
User left your channel. All right, and we are back live here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway out here in the desert. Real Sim Racing Full Throttle Cup Series User here as uh, working our first caution here. Happened on uh, lap User 7, 27, and the 47. Uh, tangling up here a little bit. That's going to be uh, Eric Arnold and Guy Snyder. So uh, I'll tell you what, uh, let's check in with our in-car race reporter tonight, Ed Williams, Jr. Ed, it's J.D. up in the booth. You got a copy? Ed Williams, Jr., this is J.D. up in the booth. You copy? All right, well, apparently we're having some uh, I got was moved some out of tech area. Is Ed, uh, this is J.D. up in the booth. User was moved to your channel. Ed, Ed you copy? Yeah, I got you. Hey, bud. Hey, uh, working first. the first caution down here, uh, and it uh, looks like a couple of them got tangled up down there, but uh, how's the track condition so far? Yeah, it's about three, three, four laps in. I believe it's going to get real loose for these cars, so the pressures come up, and uh, depending on how the racing goes, you could see some more yellow here. Four, five, six laps in, I think. Uh, I believe the setup will be a little tight as we move down the more laps, JD. Uh, All right. Have you? Uh, what's your strategy here tonight? I uh, see you're sitting back there, uh, quite a ways back, but uh, hey, it's still early in the race. You got anything put together for these guys tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ride back here and see what the car does. Uh, I'm gonna make the first 30, 35 laps test run, see what everybody else is doing, and figure out what to do from there. All right, I'll tell you what, uh, suck them up tight. I see the lights are off on the pace car. We're gonna go ahead and turn you loose. I know you got work to do. Good luck down there. Thank you. All right, Ed yes, Williams Jr., our in-car reporter here at Las Vegas, as we set to uh, get ready to go back to green flag racing here, guys. And uh, tell you what, up in front, it's still Landon Huffman, John Gregorio show up here. David Lanza, Chad Cole, Cameron Manis, your top five on this restart. Pace car's going to make that hard left-hand turn, head on down pit road. And I'll tell you what, just as soon as he does, that's going to be go time for Landon Huffman as the flag comes up in the air and flag man waves, and we're off and running one more time here, guys. That's right. Landon Huffman uh, spreads the lead out there on that takeoff. I tell you, J.D., he gets a good takeoff. Uh, so far, the two times that we've seen them drop the green here, uh, breaks it out to about... Oh, got our oaks, 33, 33 accident. going around, guys. Hate to break in. David Lanza going around. Big accident here, guys. Big accident. Caution is definitely out on this one. Right on the restart, it's going to be the 33 car of David Lanza right up here in the front, guys. Working that top side up here. Looks like his car, it looks like he just got loose and uh, it came right around on him, guys. Yep, went in the corner there, maybe just a little bit too hot there, J.D., and uh, got him around. Uh, John, you got more on this. Now let's see what happens, guys. This is right off the restart. I was looking for a check up, but I think you're going to see somebody get loose. And it's that 33 car. He's going to get loose, guys, and the 31 is going to help him around. Nothing he can do about that. He's going to put the 43 in the wall, the 83 is in the wall, the 60 is also in the wall, guys. It's going to affect about four or five cars. Tell you what, watching him going back there to the pit, JD. Obviously, he's having definitely problems with that steer, and he uh, smacked the inside of that wall with, again on the back stretch. And uh, I'm sure that's going to affect him, and it's going to affect his place here in the race today. That, and uh, tell you what, another one. Uh, actually, there's actually quite a few cars that got involved. But watching uh, the uh, 34 car, uh, Chris Beck, making his way down pit road here uh, on looked like he was almost on fire there. Like he might have pushed it behind the wall and calling it a night here, headed for the barn. The 34 car involved, the two car involved, the 83 and the 60 uh, so far with that uh, little uh, mishap with the 33 guys. Tell you what, uh, you got uh, Cameron Manis in the four car. It's going to be right behind Landon Huffman on this takeoff uh, when they get ready to come back around and in just a few to take the green flag for a restart but uh, JD I tell you the, the the starts that Landon is getting there I tell you this young man looks like he's on a mission today and uh, is definitely fighting to put this thing in victory lane with the takeoffs that he's getting uh, I don't know if everybody is kind of uh, spinning their tires on the restarts or if he's just getting a restart that good but uh, man's getting a, some good restarts up there yeah, he is. You know, uh, I think he might have been paying attention to Tony Stewart uh, here over the weekend. 
you know, uh, I think there was some studying going on even by, uh, you know, some of the real uh, NASCAR race car drivers. And it uh, looks like he's just kind of he's leaning on that throttle coming off of turn four there behind the pace car and probably got his foot on the brake. And he's got that baby powered up, throttled up. And it's just, uh, you know, one smooth motion off the brake on the throttle and away he goes. But I tell you what, he's got it down to a science. Landon Huffman leading the pack here. But uh, I tell you what, uh, working caution number two here for tonight, guys. Why don't we go ahead and step away? We'll take a quick commercial break and bring you back live, ETV live, cowboy. We're at Las Vegas Motor Speedway with real sim racing full throttle cup series. So don't wander off, cowboy. Back live, ETV live, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Real Sim Racing, Full Throttle Cup Series out here tonight. Two cautions in the books here already. 14 laps, and I'll tell you what, 107 on the board here tonight. That last caution uh, involving a number of cars. The 33 uh, starting the whole thing, uh, finding that banana peel up in the, uh, up in the uh, turn up there. Spins it out, 60 involved, the 83 car, the 2 car, the 34 car. Uh, heavy damage to a couple of them up here, but uh, I'll tell you what, a lot more racing coming our way here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway as uh, these guys get set to uh, have at it one more time. Now, again, keep an eye on uh, on these guys here. Three, four laps in on a restart. Loose conditions here, guys. Cool down, uh, you know, uh, Rick. Uh, you know, you get a bunch of pace laps in here. Cars cool down. Tires cool down here a little bit. So uh, it's kind of like uh, starting all over again sometimes. Oh, yeah, and I tell you what, uh, you get the cool-down effect there. Uh, it, it definitely holds the car up for a few more laps, but like you said, you definitely don't want to find that banana peel, especially up on that high side and being close to the front. And the reason for that is, is you spin that baby around being up front, whoo, I'll tell you, you got uh, quite a few coming at you. It's, it's like playing dodgeball, uh, but uh, that is definitely not what you want to do early in the game. So it uh, looks like pace lights are out. We may get ready to go green right here, J.D., you bet. And I'll tell you what, Landon Huffman is going to pick up that green flag one more time here as the pace cars are going to make his way down pit road. And I'll tell you what, uh, Landon Huffman uh, keeping an eye on his restart here. He's on the throttle, working that brake and throttle together here a little bit. Doesn't look like he's going to get the restart uh, he got last time. Kind of sneaking away from the four car here. A little bit delayed, delayed uh, reaction there, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I seen that, but I tell you what, Cameron Manis was ready for that uh, restart there and uh, didn't see Landon pull away quite as much this time. Maybe uh, about a car leap, but uh, Cameron Manis uh, zeroed in on that back bumper as they're coming out of uh, turn two there. So, But it uh, looks like Landon's starting to open it up just a little bit more on him. So Landon's definitely got a car that's hooked up today so far and uh, showing, to, uh, showing to be the man to beat so far there, J.D. You know, I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering if officials didn't uh, kind of give him a, a slight warning, uh, perhaps jumping the green flag there a little bit. I know that's, uh, you know, one of the rules, uh, you know, pretty much from league to league. 
uh, you don't want to jump the green flag down there and, uh, you know, uh, get that hole shot. This ain't drag racing, cowboy. This is oval racing. So uh, back here in uh, eighth position, the 88 car of uh, Adam Roberts up here on the top. As uh, looks like uh, Chalmers Parker gets past him here, uh, gets past him for position here, and uh, move Chalmers Parker up to eighth, and uh, Jason Elrod back here in tenth position. That number seventy machine is now uh, being threatened by the eighty-eight up here on the top side. The eighty-eight car looks like Adam Roberts trying to make that top side work up there. I tell you what, uh, can't quite uh, get it to hang. He's losing a couple of positions. As, uh, I think that's a twenty-three machine going past him on the bottom right. That's right, J.D., and I'm, I'm actually taking a look up here toward the front uh, and watching the number 17 of Chad Cole uh, getting some really good entrance and exits out of the corners there, maintaining his position, and uh, looks like he may be moving on up a little bit toward Cameron Manis, so he may be getting ready to set some things up here for here in the near future. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Tell you what, uh, Landon Huffman and uh, James are... Uh, 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 James, geez. Uh, Landon Huffman and John Gregorio uh, started out on the uh, pole here. Of course, Gregorio starting on the outside front row. Uh, but uh, Gregorio's back here in 10th place, guys, in that number 23 machine. And he's, uh, he's running that high line, trying to make that high line work as he takes a little piece of the wall with him here a little bit. But uh, coming off of... Uh, Look like uh, turns at one and two. He gets up there in the high line, but then it gets right down near the apron, going through three and four, and he's getting dangerously close to that outside wall coming off turn four. So John Gregorio uh, started on the front row, but uh, moving backwards, Rick. Yeah, and talking about moving backwards, JD. I'm looking back here in 29th position, Guy Snyder. Tell you, the young man that won the race last week, sitting number one in the points right now is in 27th spot with heavy damage to his car uh on that looks like on that front passenger side and the left rear it's got a lot of damage so uh it's definitely not going to be a good day for him today jd and uh i know the young man's out there just trying to collect points as he can but uh definitely probably not going to see him in victory lane today 19 points in front of uh, Scott Brotherton. So uh, you're right, Guy Snyder not having the night that uh, he wanted here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, for sure. But uh, I'll tell you what, uh, moving it all the way back here, 16th position, the 60 car, John Higman Jr. back here. Looks like he's might be having a little bit of trouble getting off the turns here. It uh, looks like the back tire, it wants to break loose on him here a little bit. So uh, it may be... Uh, you know, maybe a little bit of loose conditions uh, here with that six machine as he uh, comes out of turn two heading down the back stretch. That's right, JD, and and uh, watching that number sixty machine, good looking car he's got out there. Looks like he's starting to ride a little bit on that high line there, so uh, it may be a sign that maybe those tires are not as gripping as good as they were just a few laps earlier. So look for some of these guys to start trying to take that high line and, and definitely. Watch for some of them to start almost going below the line uh, due to the fact that they're over uh, uh, driving too hard into the corners. Looks like we've got a wreck out of turn four, turn two, JD. You bet. And a uh, caution flying here one more time. I'm hearing it's a 41 car. That's going to be Chalmers Parker, guys. Roll it backwards on my monitor here. It looks like uh, looks like he tangled with the wall. Come, he's coming through the trioval here. See so if I can't roll this one up here a little bit. Yeah, it looks like uh, he comes through the trial, guys. He's he's uh, stuck up in that high line, and uh, I'm hearing he lost his brakes and uh, just goes sailing off into that outside wall. Of course, it knocks him for a loop, and he comes down across traffic, and then, uh, oh, gets pounded again. Let's send it on down to John uh, for a little more on this one, John. Well, let's see if we can see what happened here. Oh, he actually gets in the outside wall, guys. He rides the loop around and just can't get it back under control. Going to slide back across the track, up the hill, into the 91 car. Puts him into the walls. So there's two cars. Let's hope nobody else comes through here. They're almost four wide to avoid him, J.D. <laughs> wow. i tell you what. Uh... I'm looking at it one more time here. Uh... Yeah, big time. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, let's take it on down to Mike down on pit road. we got the leaders pitting this time by, guys. 
Yeah, leaders couldn't wait on that caution to come out. They were needing some tires bad. You got Cameron and Landon leading them down. Let's see what they do here. Uh, The four cars into his pit, the 75 into his, 20, 75 into his. Landon may, ha Landon has the advantage here as so he's first place coming down in the pits, but let's see what happens here. Going to take two tires on the right side, two on the left. Looks like the 17's out in the way, the 32's out in the way. Landon may have gotten beat off pit road, guys. It looks like it might be Chris Owens and the 62 who took two tires, and then the 17 of Chad Cole, Cameron, and on back. Wow, what a race off pit road. Tell you what, I was watching the uh, the number four, Cameron Manis went in, Mike. Uh, looked like he grabbed four tires and got some fuel, but he got beat off pit road uh, by the Chad Cole, so uh, it's gonna put Chad Cole up in front of uh, uh, Cameron Manis. Wow, what a race off pit road as John Higman Jr. takes over the lead, taking two right sides only, and Chris Alley taking two right sides only. Now, Mike, with these guys only taking two tires on the right-hand side, let's tell, let's tell the audience here what we can expect to see what's going to happen with these cars only taking two, two, two tires. Well, the deal here is, is, more than likely, I think John pitted that last caution, so he's got the four fresh tires already and they just went just a couple laps uh, only on those last set of tires so he feels like he's got uh, just a little bit of wear on the left sides but not enough to change the change four so he went with two and the right side's so important here at Vegas uh, getting into the turns using that right front right right front tire up uh, so that's that's more than likely what John's doing there Good deal. I tell you what, JD. Something else is going to be real interesting to see is that uh, the number uh, the number seventy five of Landon Hoffman is not going to have that advantage of being able to uh, just jump the start there and shoot out to get a big lead. Uh, he's going to have something in his way. So uh, it's going to be uh, interesting to see uh, how patient he's going to be in trying to make his moves here in just a moment, JD. It'll be interesting to find out, uh, you know, the two-tire versus four-tire strategy as well. Also, when I uh, tell you what, to watch and race on Sunday, eh, I don't know if it's going to same. We're going to see the same thing here or not. But uh, clean air, dirty air, all that's going to play a part uh, when we get back to green flag racing. But uh, I'll tell you what, good calls down there on pit road. Why don't we go ahead and step away? We'll take a commercial break right here, right now, real quick. You're watching a live ETV live cowboy, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, real sim racing, full throttle cup series. So don't wander off. We'll be right back. And we are back. I tell you what, uh, just in time, Pace Car is going to make his way around turn four here and take that hard, quick left hand turn down pit, down pit road. John Higman Jr. out in front, Chris Owens, Landon Huffman in third position. 
in fourth is Chad Cole. Cameron Mann is still hanging out there in the top five as so we go back to green flag racing here. This is two tired versus four tired boys, and we'll see how it all plays out here just shortly. Tell you what, Landon Huffman still got a good start there, J.D. Was able to put that machine up underneath the 62 of Chris Owens as they come out of turn two. Gets Ooh. a good run. In Ooh. second place he is. And I tell you what, that thing is rolling. But John Higman, you got to give it to him. He got a good start off the lead there, opening it up at about four car lengths. And now uh, it looks like the, uh, the 75 of Landon Huffman is chasing him down and uh, zeroing in on that back bumper as they cross the start finish line. Chris Owens uh, having problems getting through one or two there on that restart, guys, up on that upper uh, upper lane up there. But uh, I tell you what, uh, trying to get it all back here, Chris Owens giving up a couple of positions back here in fourth. But uh, I was watching that 60 car, John Higman Jr. up here as Landon Huffman down there on the bottom, and that 75 machine is in the lead one more time. So as Chad Canals would say, new leader, 75 car. And I tell you what, uh, this may be uh, the two car versus four tire, two tire, two car. What am I saying here? Two tire versus four tire. A deal that we was talking about, boys. That's right, JD. That two tire versus four tire. As we've seen, the 60 car, John Higman pushed as he went into the corner there, which allowed Landon to get right up underneath him very easy. But as he pushed, he even lost more position with the 17 of Chad Cole sliding into position, taking that second place spot away from him. But it uh, looks like John Higman is uh, pretty comfortable right now in that third place position. Just to tell you how competitive this series is, guys. John Higman Jr.'s crew chief told him to just take two only. We want to get the lead lap. We want to. We want to get a lap lead. We want those bonus points. It just shows you how competitive these guys are. Tell you what, bonus points mean everything. Uh, you know, we're talking 30, 30 plus week season here uh, at uh, Real Sim Racing. They're following the Cup schedule, so uh, it all adds up at the end of the uh, at the end of the uh, season there, Rick. That's right, J.D. It will add up at the end of the season. So every lap counts. Every point counts. Every lead change counts. So it's very important early in the game. Uh, three, I believe we're at the third race in the season here. But uh, we want to take a break here and just take a look at the, the, the chat room and give a shout-out to Two Crew Party. Say howdy doody and Greg Netherwood, John, Patrick, and RJ. Appreciate you guys being here today and uh, watching the exciting race here at Las Vegas here with us, folks. We've got a uh, two crew party. Uh, he's getting some Twitter feeds from, uh, looks like the number two car, guys. So uh, how does that work? Uh, you know, uh, all, all these uh, all these newfangled devices and gadgets and stuff, I suppose these cars come equipped with, uh, what do they call them, things, iPads or whatever? Well, I looked over here, Daddy, and I believe the two cars sitting behind pit walls, so I, they may be figuring out what they're going to do tonight uh, after they get that thing loaded up. <laughs> Chalmers Parker uh, looks like he uh, kind of bit the bullet here a little bit, going real wide up into the turn, uh, up into one or two. Uh, down on the apron now. Uh, looks like he's uh, he's one of the cars that was uh, damaged, I believe, in that uh, on that last uh, pit stop. In fact, I think he's the one that started it all. But making his way down pit road, Mike, 41 car uh, actually comes back out on the track. So I'm not quite sure what he's doing. He's riding the apron down here. Let's keep an eye on this 41. Thomas Parker down here, guys. He's way off the pace, not carrying the race speed. He's he's uh, straddling the line down here on the apron. And uh, I tell you what, just uh, kind of a dangerous situation happening here. I tell you, it's probably only a matter of time before he gets the black flag. He's got to hold a certain pace around the track here, so hopefully it won't cause an accident. But I tell you what, J.D., where my eyes are on right now is the number 56 of Tyler Price. I tried to get up with him before the race today. I think there was some technical difficulty or something with his radio, uh, something about his mic wouldn't work. But I tell you what, this young man is on on a mission. He is uh, looks like he's running right at about uh, fifth place, and uh, he's come from a pretty good distance, closing in on uh, third and fourth there, uh, being patient, riding and getting into the corners and getting out of the corners very well. The number 60 machine of John Higman having a little bit of trouble out there on that outside, and I'm sure he's wishing now he would have went ahead and took four tires. Got it, and I think we're watching Tyler Price here, keeping an eye on him. He's got the 31 
out in front of them here, uh, chasing them down. But you're right, uh, keep an eye on the 60 machine up here. This is the top five, uh, everybody up here in the top five, top six. Is uh, Price uh, kind of running them down up here. But I'll tell you what, uh, they're about uh, almost a half a second, uh, actually more than that. Uh, about a half a second, maybe eight tenths of a second off of uh, Chad Cole and, Huff and Landon Huffman up here. Chad Cole up here in the 17 machine having a pretty good run. Looks like he's going around uh, the, uh, I think that's a lap car, the 83 machine of uh, Jay Horton. The 83 involved in that uh, in that uh, caution back on lap 10 that, uh, that uh, did a lot of damage to a number of cars. But I'll tell you what, uh, Landon Huff and Chad Cole uh, working about almost almost a one second lead now uh, over the rest of the field, guys. Tell you what, that number 56 running third position right now. He overcame that, that third position, passed two cars at one time, went under him coming out of turn two. He uh, He's closing in the gap, and uh, he is catching Chad Cole there, J.D. You bet. And a uh, little action back here about the eighth position back here Jeff Addison in that 94 machine uh, I think that the lap car it's gonna be Jay Horton still uh, these guys are doing a good job getting around uh, that 83 Jay Horton back here I'll tell you what uh, as fast as this track is especially going through the trial at almost 200 miles an hour and uh, having to get around a, a lap car here uh, without any difficulty uh, Jay Horton uh, very aware of what's going on around him staying up out of the way as we come down through uh, turns three and four here, they all cycle past them. The 70 car going past them at this time as well. Tell you what, looking up here toward the front, the number in the second position, number 17, Chad Cole. Uh, he has got company knocking on his back door as Tyler Price in third position, the number 56 car, has closed in on him. Uh, he and he closed in on him pretty fast, JD. Within a lap, uh, closed in within a three-car length lead that uh, Chad Cole had on him. But now he is right on the bumper with only a car length between the two of them, and uh, it looks like he's kind of sitting back just a little bit right now and just going to ride a few laps. You bet. 43 laps in the books here at Las Vegas. 107 laps on the board here, so. Uh tell you what uh, we're approaching the halfway point here and uh, Mike I don't think uh, the last pit stop for a lot of these guys would have been on lap uh, about lap 26 or so 27 uh, and uh, I still I don't know that uh, they're gonna be able to make it all the way to the end yet no these guys will have to pit again for fuel um, and with the caution it's really going to help out with the tire situation you don't want to go 60 laps 55 50 50 to 55 60 laps on old tires here at vegas you want four fresh ones almost every chance you can get them so uh, look for these guys to uh wishful uh thinking for a caution <laughs> that's right <laughs> wishful thinking for a caution i tell you what uh, that's definitely something landon huffman does not want to see right now as uh, taking a look in the second spot right now, the number 56 of Tyler Price has uh, opened up probably about a five car length uh, between him and Chad Cole as he's going under, uh, it looks like a lap car, the number two car there. But uh, Landon Huffman uh, is definitely going to be having company here uh, very shortly. Uh, Tyler Price having a good run on that lap there, closing in the gap uh, of almost a tenth of a second as uh, Tyler Price and uh, Landon Huffman turning almost the same lap time guys so uh, Tyler Price just a just a hundredth or so faster trying to get up there and uh, run down a 75 machine of Landon Huffman I'll tell you what we're gonna go ahead and step away for a commercial break right here right now I'll tell you what you're watching live ETV live it's the only choice cowboy Las Vegas Motor Speedway with Real Sim Racing Full Throttle Cup Series. So don't wander off. We'll be right back. 